there are a lot of people who are wrongfully convicted in this country, and there's a lot of people that we'll never know about. You did 17 years on a child sex abuse charge, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. They tried to get him to plea bargain, and he says, well, I'm not going to plead guilty. Somebody is putting a young child up to something to get rid of Scott Beerpoint. The child involved has now said this never happened. He was pushed into it, I truly believe that. Scott's conviction had eaten away at that little fellow. I'd been trying to tell people for years and no one would listen. He walked in the courtroom when he was 27 and he told his story then and I'm a free man today. People sleep better at night thinking that the government gets it right all the time. I really thought that the system was fair until they screwed me around. The system breaks down and the system overlooks things. It's hard for you to believe, but I have not done a crime. Are we going to say that for Calvin Michael Smith, this is sufficient justice? I was sent to die for something I didn't do, you know, and it could happen to anybody. Everything that I worked for, my reputation, my family, it was all gone. If the system can do it to this kid, they can do it to anyone. We have a moral imperative to do better for people who've been wrongly imprisoned. There's got to be an improvement across the board. When prosecutors or police chiefs are bullshitting me about what the facts are, somebody has to call them out. It's a challenge when the prosecution doesn't want the jurors to know about DNA exoneration cases. It's easy for opponents of reform to simply kill it quietly. There's certainly a lot of momentum behind these reforms, but when mistakes happen, there's no accountability. North Carolina has proven to be an incredible state when it's come to addressing wrongful convictions. Duke University Law School's wrongful conviction clinics worked for two years to get you out. Had you given up? I had until I come to the point of writing the school, and that kind of put new hope in me. We have students who put a lot of time into re-examining the case. The Duke Innocent Project started corresponding with me, and then next thing you know, they started working towards an agenda to get me free. We have these exonerations, so there's a lot of energy around what we're trying to do here. For students to do so much hard work and then to earn a real uphill victory like that must just change their lives. This is about justice, and justice doesn't expire. Strong, regardless of the circumstances, because you can make it if you try. No matter what you do, don't ever give up.